Hello everybody, Tyron Ken here and welcome back to another episode of the Cricket 22 Shane Warne career mode. Today we've got our three day debut up against Geelong Cricket Club. We're batting at nine still after our exploits in the T20 match and one day match. I don't remember who we were playing against. Might have been Richmond, I don't know. I don't remember. Um, anyway, that was last episode. This episode, we've got the three-day match, as I said. Ferntree Gully have won the toss. What are we going to do? We are going to have a bat first. So, hopefully, our batsmen or batters can put on a good total. Uh, they don't have to worry about uh, me putting any runs on, as we did in the one-day match. Okay, so it's not great, I'll be honest. We got 57 not out in our one day match. Um, let's just get in. We are batting with the tail. We are the tail, really. And we are off the mark with a single. Okay, let's see what Hancock's, Hancock can bring to the table. That's right, good leave. Okay, we'll leave that one alone. That might be actually a wide. No, nope, just a dot ball, which is fine. Um... Now, today's topic, what are we going to talk about today? Um, I've been watching the uh, Women's World Cup that's been on at the moment. Uh, we watched, what did I watch today? I watched uh, New Zealand up against India, I think. And, no, it was the West Indies. India, West Indies. No, England, West Indies, I think it was. And they had a really good game. Um... I, I must admit, I don't know much about the women's game. I tend to just, just focus on the men's. But since I've moved in with my uh, in-laws, uh, they they actually are big fans yep. of the women's game. So they, they watch it a fair bit and know a bit about it. So I'm going to try and make an effort to, to get to know the women's game a little bit better. Um, obviously, they're, there's a... Aussie, the Aussie men are playing over in Pakistan at the moment. Yep. Uh, we might get two off this delivery. Um, it's actually gone for four, so we've done well there. Um, yeah, obviously, the men are playing in Pakistan at the moment. Um, they're sort of contemplating whether or not to bring in Mitch Swepson uh, for one of the pace bowlers. Um, I personally think that's probably a good idea. Um Oi. The wicket was spinning a lot in a row pindi, I think that's how you pronounce it. And we've got the match in Karachi up next. Um, so I think playing with essentially four paces, if you include Cameron Green in that and Nathan Lyon, was probably in hindsight not the not the right call. Um, but we'll we'll see what the selectors come up with. I'm always tend to give the selectors the benefit of the doubt. And obviously, they're professionals and they know the team, you know, what happens behind the scenes and inside and out much more than me. So, um, we uh, we just have to wait and see what happens. But I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Mitch Swepson or Ashton Agar come in as a, as a second spin option and replace one of the quicks. I don't know which one you'd actually take out. You probably... I'd probably leave him Cummins, obviously, because he's the captain, and maybe I'd leave Mitch Stark in just because he provides a bit of variety with his pace, and he's um, he's got a great Yorker on him as as well. So I'd probably drop Hazelwood out. To yep. no, we almost got out there to allow room for one of the spinners uh, for Swepson or Agar, um, but we'll see what happens. You know, it's uh, I think. I'm recording this on the 10th of March. We'll leave that alone. Um, 
So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, but I've, yep. the point I'm trying to make is I've been watching a lot of cricket recently. Um, obviously, with that's been amplified with me watching all of Shane Warne's stuff on on YouTube. You know, all his highlights and his hat tricks, and he's taking his 700th wicket at the MCG. Uh, that we've all been seeing that on, you know, on our TV screens and on the internet, you know, because it's sort of the countries and the world is almost in mourning about it, about it at the moment. So it's still very, very new and very sad. And I hope that this series um, can bring a bit of a bit of a bit of light to the situation. Not making light of his passing, obviously, um, but provide a distraction and sort of, I don't know, make, make good of a, of a poor situation. Um, so, but anyway, back to the, what I was going to say, our topic for discussion is what's the one thing you're looking forward to in this career mode? We actually won't run that because that's potentially a run out hazard. Um, is it me getting into the test team? Is it me going around the T20 leagues or all around the world and, you know, getting as many wickets as I can? That's a good shot. At my will go for six. No, just a four. So, yeah, that was a risky shot. We probably didn't have to play it. Um, but comment in uh, in the video what, what you're looking forward to about about this series. I, I would really appreciate it if you did that. Um, even if you just leave a like, that you know, that would make my day. So, um, you know, keeping that dialogue going between me, uh, the the YouTuber, and, and the, you guys, the viewers, um, that that would be great. So, you know, that's a beautiful uh, shot through mid-off. It's gone for four more. So, we've done a, a really good job of uh, building a bit of a partnership with Hancock. He's been in for a little while. We'll just see what Kresic bowls to him. Left arm pace. Get the sneaky single there. So we've got 56 overs left in the day. We're 666 for 7. Not a position we'd normally find ourselves in. That's bowling some heat. Uh, with our our um, other career mode that we have uh, on the channel, which we're I'm trying to think. I've recorded over 80 episodes, but I don't think we're quite at the 80 episode mark yep. just yet. Excuse me, had a little burp there. Bonus. Had a fried rice for dinner, so just a little burpy at the moment. Um, so we'll see what what happens uh, over the course of this career mode. I'm excited to see what happens. Um, I'll keep the same with the other career mode I've got going with one episode a day. Uh, that seems to be coming out at a good pace that I think you guys enjoy and you know it's sustainable for me to do with my current work schedule. Um, but yeah, you know, that's... Uh, that's really the plan with uh, with this series. It's just an episode a day. You guys can watch it whenever you want to. And, you know, I'll just build up this back catalogue of uh, Shane Warne's career. And I think it's going to be, be really cool. So, hopefully it, uh, it all works. And we can get a bit of an entertainment out of it as well. Because that's essentially what... What we all do this for, I I play games because I enjoy it, and I make content because I enjoy it, and I hope that the uh, the feeling is mutual um, when it comes to you guys watching it. And we'll just uh, the two runs there from Pollard. Okay, we'll let Hancock face Pollard's over. We've moved to seven for 170. Kresic is back on the bowl. It's a beautiful straight drive. It may well reach the boundary, and it has. So batting proving to be easy uh, as Shane Warne, apparently. So uh, we got 57 not out in the one-dayer. 
and we've just smashed another straight drive down the ground again. That's two in a row, and we've just almost reached 30 in our three-day debut. Um, so we're doing really well. Um, I'm trying to think, what are the points can I... Might get three in a row straight drives. Three straight drives in a row, rather. And we have. What other points can I cover? We're only ten minutes into this episode, and I think the Shane Warne uh, episodes would probably be, be a bit longer than than the Tyron Cannon episodes. And, ooh, I'm surprised that wasn't out. That's another boundary. You've got the full toss. I just got sent a snap. I um, took a photo of me and my in-law's dog. So I sent it out to all, to all my friends and family and they seem to like it. So I was just checking the replies on that. Um, now we haven't lost any wickets since we've come to the crease. We're on 38 of 30. Leave that alone. That'll be a wide. Um, but yeah, I was saying that um, I keep getting distracted, that these episodes will be a little bit longer than my standard series, as that's a terrible delivery, as um, we'll be bowling, I'll probably show every ball that we, every ball that we bowl, um, and that naturally will take a bit of time to, uh, to go through, as well as watching us bat, and uh, no run there. Um... I also considered live streaming uh, the Shane Warne series. I did think about it before I decided to make a, a, a Let's Play. Um, but I, I figured I didn't have a big enough viewer base to, to consider live streaming. So that's why I didn't opt to do that. Um, so I did think about it. It's another wide. This guy's got a stop ball. Oh, it's a dot ball. Okay. Um... But I did think about it, so did consider it. Another dot ball. He's bowling in like a really weird spot where I can't sort of hit it where I want to. I want to hit it through mid wicket. No run. I think I'm, I'm, he's not spinning it enough, so I'm better probably just better off just leaving it. Um. Yeah, we'll leave that. And it's another wide, so. Three wides in the over so far. That was coming back, but luckily, uh, all good. No harm is caused. Pollard back on again. We'll leave that alone. The ball. Hmm. Okay, and what am I doing tomorrow? I'm thinking. Actually, I do know what I'm doing. I'm attending a first aid class. Um, because what I'm my, I'm doing a traineeship at the moment to become a disability support worker. Um. So that so a couple of days training during the week. Um, that's another wide. And. So a part of that is I need to get my certificate in yep. in first aid. So that's my day tomorrow. Start at nine o'clock at Maitland. I've never been to Maitland before, so it's actually been my first time driving around the the Newcastle area. Uh, so it'll be a little bit exciting for me. I'll be driving in my fiance's car because my car's still in uh, hey. still in Adelaide. Oh. We um, only drove one car over when we drove over from Adelaide. Um, so we'll see see how that goes. Um, and it, it finishes at, um, at 1 o'clock, I think. So I'm not sure if we get a break in between. So that'll be out for, for four hours. Um, and I'll probably do some recording as well. I'll probably record another couple of episodes of my main let's play on the channel 
Um, even though I'm like 10 episodes ahead at the moment, I just want to... Because I've applied for this other job, uh, which is in uh, the disability sector. And if I get it, it'll obviously... Because I don't have a, uh, an actual job at the moment. I don't have don't have any income at the moment, so... Um, so my, my in-laws are very graciously letting me and my fiancé stay. Uh, stay with them until we get uh, on our feet. So... Um, so I'm really hoping this job works out. Um, it's another dot ball. I think that might have been a maiden. I don't know. Anyway, we'll uh, keep keep it going. Hancock's on his move to 23 off 75. Brought the pacer back on. Leave that alone. Um, but yeah, so. I'm just waiting to hear back from the company that I've applied the job uh, applied the job for. That doesn't make any sense, but I know what I'm trying to say. That's a glorious shot through mid-wicket for four. Um, so, I'm just waiting to hear back from them if I get the job or not. Um, if I don't get the job, I'll just keep applying around for, for a job. Um, but yeah, my training goes for think for four weeks or five weeks and I'm in in the second week so um I've got my first practical tomorrow uh which is the first aid course so all very exciting stuff in uh the life of me at the moment so and I've got my YouTube stuff which is great um so yeah this is all very very new all good new experiences for me new new city new job hopefully and my YouTube, you know, career is still relatively new. Um, been uploading for a couple of months now, so things are things are good. Yep. That is a perfectly timed shot through the straight area of the ground, and we've moved on to forty-seven of forty-eight. Um, a little bit slower than our standard innings. That's a good shot. I think it's going to race to the boundary, and that will be our second half century in a row. So, 11 fours in it, 49 deliveries faced. Um, and yeah, we're doing very, very well. And that's a good looking wagon wheel. A lot of stuff through the leg side. Not much apart from a couple of shots through the offside, and nothing really behind the wicket. Um, but doing well. Getting, I didn't expect we'd do so well with the bat. Um, anyway, we will carry on. Yep. Ooh, bad shot. Terrible, terrible shot. But it's going to go to the boundary for four. Um, okay, so that is going to the boundary. As we already knew that. I'm going to try and not play too many risky shots whilst playing as, as Shane Warne because I knew basically the only thing I know about his batting is that he got out for 99 off a no ball when um, Dan Vittoria was bowling to him like in, in the late 90s. That's basically the only thing I know about his batting. Wait. Obviously everybody knows about his bowling and his you know, exploits there. Being very successful, you know, the 708 wickets, you know, getting smashed for, I think, one for 150 on debut against India. So, well, um, I didn't, as I said before, I didn't expect to be so successful with the bat uh, at this stage. I know it's only, um, only club cricket, but we'll uh, just see how we go with the ball, because we... We've done okay. We've gotten three wickets in our first two matches. Um, two in the first, one in the second. That's a slow ball. Um, so yeah, we'll just see how it all goes. That's another good straight drive. That'll be four more, I reckon. And it is. So beautiful.
beautiful straight drive. I quite like the idea of having him with no sponsorships at the moment, um, even though it is Shane Warne. Um, Hancock's really doing well at the moment, just plugging in and uh, not getting out. <sighs> no. I've got a hot cup of tea next to me, and I don't like to drink my tea boiling hot. I tend to let it sit for a little bit. And it's almost the right temperature to start drinking, so... Waiting. Get to that in a second. Well fielded by point. Uh, that'll be another dot ball. I will check in a second what the partnership is worth. Waiting. Actually, I'll check it now. I'm going to go scorecard. It's almost worth 100. So... Which doesn't really make any sense because I think they must have bowled a lot of wides and no balls in that. Because we've only scored fifty nine and Hancock was on like twelve when when we came to the crease. So that's in the gap. Beautiful shot. That'll be four more. All right, let's try the tee out. Oh yeah, that's good. Always like to have either a cup of tea or a glass of water when I record my videos, as I, when I talk, my voice gets quite, quite worn out, quite dry. Um, that's an attempted cut shot. I don't play many cut shots. Much like in real life, when I played cricket as a youth, I did. I had basically all leg side. I was a, a bit of a hack, I'll be honest. Um, as a batsman, and the wicket's fallen. Just as I was pumping up uh, Hancock, he's uh, he's fallen. And that's gone to the boundary again. We've gotten a top score. Well, we've passed our high, previous high score, I should say. We've now reached to 67. Yep. We'll get the single there. Nicely done. Oh, another wicket's fallen. Right, I'm going to try and dominate the strike here. Leave that alone. Okay. So I think the only uh, chance of us getting runs for the rest of the innings is us just... Being responsible and not getting out. Yeah. And I say that and we get out. So, all out for 233, which is, I'm going to say it's a good result considering where we were when we came to the crease. Um, we don't need to see that. So, we top scored our first uh, innings. Um, hang on, let me go to this screen. Top scored our first innings with 68 off 64 deliveries. Um, we came to the crease at 136 for 7. So to end up at 233 and contributing a lot of those runs, um, I'm going to say it's a good result for us. Um, I think I'm going to bowl for a little bit and then... We've brought him early to bowl. And there we go, three wickets for an average of 27.67. It's pretty good. Let's, uh, how do we go? I'm happy with it, an aggressive field. Sorry, let me just put you guys up. Um, okay, that was bugging me out for a little bit there. Let's just bowl a nice leg break early on. Very good. Good first delivery. Okay, let's... There we go. Okay, so we're going to get a single there. Actually, might get two in the end. That was probably a little bit too straight for, for our liking. And I'm still getting used to the bowling control, so let's pitch it up a little bit. Yes. Okay. Yep. 
let's stop the singles. I prefer that field to this very aggressive one. Waiting. That's better. That way we can keep the economy going and hopefully result in a couple of wickets as well. That was a poor yep. ball. Oh, even worse fielding. That was terrible. What's Collier, I think, is that? That's the name on your back of your shirt? You should be ashamed. Okay, let's go for the googly. Let's go for the effort ball, I reckon. <sighs> Nicely done. Why can't we run? There we go. So just, just four. We've got four off the first over. Um, let's go for a leg break. Well bowled. I think my responsibility as a Shane Warne in this career mode is just to stop the flow of runs and take as many wickets as I can. Because if the batsmen are anything like me, they like to score lots of runs, score them quickly. That's gone for four. Um, it's a good shot. Let's bring it back a little bit. Let's throw the slider in there. Standard. Come on, get across. Throw another slider in there. Try the effort ball this time. Nicely done. Alright. Four again off the over. Um, okay, I think at the end of this spell we might call it an episode, so I don't know how long this spell is going to go for. Well fielded. Um, so because we're just looking at my OBS, we're 27 minutes into the episode. We haven't done a lot of bowling, I admit. Um, pick it up. But we'll try and do a little bit of bowling. Oh, all bowled. How can I... There we go. Uh, preset fields... Let's go with this field. Let's try this. And let's go for the slider. Last ball, the over. <laughs> That's a peel, why not? Ah. Um, let's go for the googly, give it a bit of flight. Yep. That'll go to the boundary for four. Um, so what happens when you bowl rubbish? Let's pitch it on middle stump. Pitch it up as well. Yep. Hit that to the man at deep square leg. Get the single. Um, let's pitch it a little bit shorter. And just go standard delivery, I reckon. Waiting. Yeah, yeah. Let's hit the straight drive. Don't think it's going to reach the boundary. Come on, fielder, get there. 
be another two to my total. Let's pitch it up again. I prefer it full. Top spinner. Let's give it a bit of bounce. That's good. Well played, well fielded, good cricket all round. Sorry if I'm not talking as much in this part of the episode, um, just because I'm I, I'm focusing a little bit more on the on the bowling aspect of it because I can sort of bat, um, not whilst not concentrating because I do concentrate uh, on batting, but it's just that I I've, I've played so much of it um, that I can just play with with not with with freedom basically whereas with bowling I haven't done as much bowling how is that good play and miss it's bowl another leggy bit of flight it's well played there's a man back there he's gonna get there just get the two I reckon So been a little bit expensive so far. Let's move it across a little bit. Bowl another leggy. Just the standard delivery. Well fielded. Let's give him a bit of fly on this one. Well fielded again by mid off. Oh, he's edged onto his pad. It's just the three off the over on this occasion. That's five overs down. And that's the end of our spell. So I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. Thank you for watching up to this point. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you at the beginning of the next episode. Thanks. Bye.